I have an idea. I have an idea regarding how to design one's ideal job. Now, what does that mean? Design an ideal job. Have you ever taken the time to structure a 28 day cycle, four times seven, in such a manner you put down on paper everything that you're great at, everything you want to do, everything that will bring you in wealth, everything that will put together your gifts, your gene keys, your human design, your mind calendar, your astrology, your Enneagram, your Myers-Briggs, your any other personality profile and bring them all together and go, oh, what are you really good at? What, what lights your fire? When do you feel that ecstasy of being in alignment with your spiritual purpose? Like that's the degree we're going for. It's not just some freaking mundane job of I gotta make this amount of money so I can pay the bills and so I can pay my rent, and that's my fucking life. Drudgery, slavery, doing something you don't want to do with your time. I mean. Did you come here to do that? I can tell you whatever the frick spirituality is about. If you don't align your natural rhythms and if you don't align your natural way and you are not doing it within an architecture that embraces your gifts, you're in the old paradigm. Like, the old jobs, the old mechanisms, it's a state of mind. And we have this economic system. And this economic system is choking us because usury cannot be used as an economic principle. It's a slave system. So if you want to keep being a slave, great. You know, keep doing what you're doing in that old paradigm system. But there's a way, it's a mentality. It's a mentality of seeing the world, of being in the world, where you design that which is you. You put the pieces together that you choose within a structure that is universal. It's time and space and money. But you got to design it first. You got to see on paper what you want to be, where you want to go, how are you going to get there world works in rhythms and there's this 13 times 28 times cycle 13 times 28 is 364 minus one is the year right so we're breaking the year into 13 cycles of 28 days and you have a scoring system linked into your communication with the world your personal points, your one-on-one -on -one points, your group points, and your community points. Just you, your personal points, one-on-one -on -one points, you and somebody else. The group, your team, your family, and then the larger community. We have to get integrated. We have to get a completely new way of seeing how to live as a human being. You may look at me and you go, what's this guy trying to do? Nobody walks around with appropriating something. I'm just expressing. I'm just within my divine reality. I can be whatever I want to be. I can look however I want. And if you don't like this, well, <laughs> screw you, right? But there's this corporate world that makes everyone be the same so that we can attain this shareholder value for a few people to make a lot of money. Like that's the basis of our economic system. You think that's a good idea? How's that been working? Whole planet. So 
to design your ideal job, to create something that comes from you, is within your design, DNA put forward by people way more advanced than us, I think it's a pretty good idea. And if you think I'm a little bit crazy, it's because I broke free. My mind is not attached to that collective unconscious bullshit that mainstream media, corporate media is, is pushing on people and everyone's agreeing to it and you vote on it and you keep your slavery in place. But you really got to jump outside the box. Go do some ayahuasca, you know, take some mushrooms, do some LSD, have some ketamine. Blow your mind because your mind is getting frequency <clears throat> stuck in thought patterns, belief systems that aren't true, that aren't aligned with the, <laughs> you know, this is an incredible place. Your lenses, these are glasses we wear glasses but if you put a concept there it changes how you see the world do you see with fear do you see with love do you see with fear do you see with love do you see with fear do you see with love there's a bunch of people somewhere freaking everybody always doing this crap to get everyone scared so they can just do their bullshit that's fucked so if you want to change the world, you want to make something better, you want to get outside of the trap of bullshit, just freaking wake the fuck up about who you are as a spiritual being, who you are as a Jedi Knight, who you are as a planetary guardian, who you are as an individual. Take a stand. Understand how your freaking mind works. Understand what do you believe? Who are you? What do you value? You make those choices up to you, nobody else. And if you agree with them, fine, go do your thing, man. But if you want to change the world so that we can all live nicely, well, we got to do it together. We got to do it differently. And this is just a wake up call. If someone sent this to you, maybe somebody thought you should get this and listen to that guy. Let's go do something, right? Do something. Good. All right, I come on here.